Hello guys, this is Kurusol again from Kurusol.com. Today we have a very special package delivered from USA actually. Um, it arrived yesterday night um, with DHL and you probably would have guessed by the thumbnail that it's a pair of boots that I bought, very special boots. Um, I'm going to do a very, very, very quick unboxing video and show you what is inside and share my thoughts on these with you guys. As you can see, it's the infamous Viberg boots. I always wanted Vibergs and wanted to try them, but to be honest, I wasn't sure that if it was worth the price. But I decided to buy them because I heard they're awesome. The box is really, really heavy. Like, I have a lot of pair of boots and shoes, but these are really, really heavy and Oof. Very bulky as well. Mm, that's okay, it's just a box. Okay, so. Viberg boots. Viberg. Chelsea boots, natural, waxed flesh, made in Canada. Uh, 2050 last, and size 11 size 11 Chelsea boots um, I like to see that it's made in Canada I knew that it was made in Canada but I would like to see it on the shoes to be you know double sure that it's made in Canada I've never been to Canada but I'm sure it's great okay here's a receipt don't care fiber fiber Okay, as you can see, they have some leaflets introducing that it's a Goodyear welted shoes. I know that some fiber, fiber boots are stitched down, but these specific pairs are Goodyear welted. There's a care guide. That's very nice. Uh, thank you for choosing Viber. And it's just a guide to how to take care of these. Also, I like that these came with a chamois, a cotton chamois to clean your boots, and a Fiberg's own shoe cream. I do believe that these are similar to Venetian cream. However, I am 100% not sure. <laughs> but it's really awesome to see Fiberg's own actual cream, shoe cream that came with the boots. Um, it's a neutral color and I can't wait to use these on these. Very funky color. Okay, so look at the actual boots itself. Oh, it's very heavy. It's very, very heavy. Woo! So these are Viberg Chelsea boots. To be honest, after looking at this, I would want to buy more of Viberg's boots. I do believe that these have channeled insoles, which means that they're stitched down to the actual welt of the shoes, like Blake stitching. With they have very heavy and dense dynite soles. If you can, as you can see, the leather is very thick. I'll show you my other Chelsea boots to compare, but the leather is very, very thick. Okay, let's see the other pair. This one is actually in the plastic bag. I have no idea why. Again, a very decent looking pair of shoes.
Okay guys, so I'm going to do a quick side-by-side -side comparison of my Weiberg chassis boots on the right and Loke chassis boots on the left. The, these are both chassis boots and both Goodyear welted shoes. Um, the Weiberg's made in Canada and Loke is made in the UK. I am not saying that Loke is a low quality footwear. They are great in on their own ways, but the price difference is very huge. Viberg uh, costs as, as much as three times more than Loke and there is a reason why. It's because the leather thickness is very very different. Viberg leather is very thick. It's like a chunk of leather. But Loke leather is thinner than Viberg boots. So guys, a few things to remember for these Viberg chassis boots are that it's made of 270 flat Goodyear welt has a channeled insole, outsoles dynite rubber soles. The upper is made of natural waxed rough out flesh leather. The last used to make this is 2050 last. And personally, it fits same as my UK sneaker or some of my boots sized. I wear UK 11 for some of my Granson Trickers, Genie Churches boots. And these are UK 11 and it fits perfectly. I cannot say it's the same for any other lasts such as 2030, which is a popular Viberg last or any other last that Viberg use. But in my case, 2050, this fits true to my UK size. So do these worth actually worth $700? Well, I'm about to find out. I haven't worn them yet. Just, I just opened them. But from looking at the construction of the boots, it's impeccable. I don't see any mistakes on the shoes. I don't see any quality issues. Everything is very clean. And everything is very well made. I would say this is a beautiful craftsmanship. I've seen many boots and these are one of the best I've ever owned. I'll find out if these are worth $700 and I'll be back with more reviews of these Blyberg chassis boots. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'll show you a quick on feet video as I always do next. Sit down.